Cowboy candy liquor. If, if this is your first time watching MRTV and doctor, about to get jacked up. Doctor, is you a candy liquor too? Consider subscribing. Then hit that notification bell for upcoming videos. Give us a thumbs up and share us out. Don't keep us to yourself. Leave us a comment. That's how we get to know each other. Fire return and family. We love you all. Yes, I'm excited. Yes, I'm excited, cowboy. I just want to say one thing before we get this thing shaking and rocking, y'all. Mm. Only thing the cowboy wants you to do is open up wide, because I'm definitely about to put something deep down inside of you. Let's go, MR. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm telling you, you it's one of them days. That's what we do. Okay. All right. So as you can see, don't need to explain. We got burgers, cheeseburgers. I have lettuce, tomato, onion, egg, cheese. He has lettuce, tomato, cheese, no onion, and homemade fries. Let me let me let me put one of them homemade fries. Baked, baked, okay. And then I guess I got a oh Ohana. You know when you ain't in charge of the drinks. <laughs> and I got some orange juice, y'all. Orange, cause I'm <laughs> feeling kind of orangey. You're going to be feeling kind of bloody in a minute. Keep it up. Did you say that? Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Bless him. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this food. We're about to receive in your son, Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. Thumbnail. Let me see. I need to get this burger up in there. I'm scared. I'm scared. Let me see. All right. Now, now that we've done all that, all the fancy crap, we can get into it. Why your burger bigger than mine? Y'all see that? I want y'all to pay attention. Y'all pay attention. First of all, now that you didn't pay attention, I have a... Don't I, nobody want to hear all them lies. See, you don't want y'all to hear the truth. I have a pile of onions on my side. And that pile I'm making it be that big. Now, give me your burger wow. so I can cut it up for you. I'm going to open this up for y'all right quick. What don't y'all see on it? Y'all put it down oh in the comments. Y'all put it down there with your don't you see. Look at me. I got the big. Let me come over here. Because I want to come over here. I got the big whammy knife. Went right through. Y'all put it down in the comments. It went right through. What y'all didn't see on this burger. Oh. <sighs> <sighs> I can't and I'm unable. Oh my gosh. This is a big one. This is a big one. Slide some oil on me. Let it ripple down my side. Huh? Huh? There you go. Oop. <laughs> Let me put that right there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hold on, hold on. I gotta get a good grip. Mm. Yeah. I have a question. Oh, I'm putting no ketchup. Because I told you when we first opened up this mm. production, you got to open up why? Because the cowboy got a lot of meat that he's about to put down inside. Mm. Here you go, y'all. Mm. <laughs> what was that? Mm. 
Mm-hmm. What was that? That was the sound they was making. No, that's I the sound making. you made. <laughs> Give that catch up. You heard them. Huh. I want some. Mmm. Okay. Mm. I got you. Mmm. Let us get a couple of bites in. Then I got to top it. No need to talk about the co- the weather condition. Because I know we all feel the same. You either wet, snowy, or cold. Or wet, snowy, and cold. Mm. <laughs> And that egg always make a difference. That egg make a difference. Let me put that egg on that burger. Mm-hmm. Mm. Y'all gotta calm down. Y'all gonna get the doctor in trouble. I hear you, but just wait. Mm. Just fed you. Just wait. You gonna get me in trouble. The hamburger, just bite right down into them. Let me tell you, when you're making a burger, the main thing, don't play with it too much. You don't need all them seasoning, as I said before. You take the flavor away from the burger. Put your little salt pepper. Me. I will put Worcestershire and um, and Lipton onion soup in. Look here. Thank everybody who came and watched our challenge video. Awesome. Thank you. Come on back again. <laughs> Thank you for all my chocolate lovers. Excuse me. Let me tell you something. I usually don't have to do this until we're on the live. But I can see you about to try to act the complete ass. So we just going to stop that right now, okay? Can, can we do that? Mm. Oh, we back here. Now, now, let me take one more bite, then I'm going to do time. And the baked fries. Oh my God. Now, let's say, I guess it's kind of a serious topic, but your heart hanging out your chest. Now look, I'm trying to get into the topic. Could you please? Now, let's say you're grown or a teenage child. Which one is it? Either one. Oh, teenage okay. or grown. You should have just said childy. Your child, but it was a point that thank you. 
I'm still my business. Now, and you got teenagers or grown kids, whatever, and their grandparent has never been a grandparent to them. Okay? Never built a relationship. Seen them a few times. And I say, I'm going to just say five. And then when they grow up to where they are now, 20, 30 some years old, the grandfather passes away. Do you feel like the kids are wrong if they decide they don't want to go to the funeral because he was never a grandfather? Or grandmother, whatever. Either one. But they never had a relationship. But their parent is upset because they feel like they should go to support them. I guess my question is, would you tell the child to go? Or would you say, it's up to you? You know, you don't have a relationship with that, with your grandparent, unfortunately. None. And they don't feel a connect. What do you tell them? Well, don't worry about it. You don't have to go. I mean, I understand. Or are you telling them, yeah, you should go, you know, support your father or your mother or whatever. What do y'all think? Always no judgment here on MRTV and Cowboy. Cowboy? I mean, I know what you think, but first you haven't told them. First of all, if it's an adult child, I wouldn't tell them anything. Okay. You'll let them make up their own mind. Exactly. Now, if it's a, let's say they're 12, 13, something like that. Mm. Well, I'm still letting them make up their own mind, but I probably would explain a little bit, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know. On what you think they should do. Right. But if it's an adult, I wouldn't say anything. Mm-hmm. Um... But I don't know if this would necessarily play a role. Mm -hmm. But they had no connection. But uh, whose part was it? Mm -hmm. Was it the grandparents' fault? Was it the parents' fault? Because let's say... The, the child was living with the mother. Mm -hmm. Did she keep the child from that side of the family? Mm -hmm. Now, like I said, I don't know if that would make a difference or not, but well, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all know what I say. I say no, they shouldn't have to. If they don't want to. Because there was no connection. Period. I mean. But you shouldn't have a role in that though. No. No, I'm just saying if they ask. I don't think. I, don't, do, you I don't think you should have a role in that. But mm -hmm. hey. I'm just a doctor. With a doctor's degree. You know what I'm saying. I, I, what do I know? Okay, we talk about real life right now. Now. What y'all think? I don't know this little right. Be honest. You ain't got to agree with me or agree with Cowboy. Oh, you got to agree with the Cowboy. No. What you think? I had to hit y'all one of them real ones this time. And be honest. You know. If you don't answer, it's all right. Mm. Mm -mm. I 
took off the rest of my bread, y'all. Yeah. I know y'all get tired of bread like the cowboy do. Hey, just, oh, you see that egg right there? Mm -hmm. There you go. What you over here for? I'm gonna knock. What time is it? I got all y'all just eating right out of the cowboy hands, don't I? I swear. One day we're going to put a partition up right here in the middle. Y'all going to see him eating on his side, I'm going to eat on mine. That's what we're doing right now. But, but separate. We're together, but we're separate. We're separate right now. No, we ain't separate now. Yes, we is. Oh, no, we ain't. <laughs> huh. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. I've been so happy. I've been putting out my little gift box for the male people and the um, package delivery people. They've been getting it. I'd be so excited when I see them on the ring cam getting something. I'd be looking in there trying to figure out what they want. <laughs> but it's too cold right now. I don't think I'm going to put the basket out because it's too cold. I've been so happy. People have been, ladies have been calling me saying they need their baby delivered. They didn't know I was that kind of a doctor too and yeah, I just been so happy. I didn't have to turn, turn down a few of them. Too many. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. That's all I can say, y'all. I apologize. Keep mm. them calls coming mm. in, y'all. Mm. 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 1-800 Cowboy 1. The doctor is soon to have a number two, separate and private. I don't know how many characters you're going to be in. Mm. Is that a separate number? Hmm? Hmm? I know y'all still trying to get the cowboy land also. And the doctor land. We're working out the details and the schedules on that as we speak right now. Just give me a little time. Who is we? <laughs> me, I'm not working on anything. Exactly. It's me and my associates. What associate? Huh? I ain't talking about one associate. No, oh, you talk to him. Hmm. Hmm. Now, hmm. please check out our membership. We would love for you to join. We got some cool icons to choose from. I love the ladies' hands on you. You got one with the cowboy lens hand. But I want to lay Go check them out. Deep. I don't know. What the fuck? You know what? It's time to go. Mm-mm. Look. Come on. Now. You behave this is yourself. what I'm talking about. You got to behave yourself. Me? Control yourself. Get a grip on yourself. I'm going to grip something. <laughs> I'm sure it ain't going to be what I want. <laughs> 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 time to go. Period. We want to thank you all for watching another one of our videos. We love you guys. Um, Saturday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, Saturday Night Jam Fest. Come on back. And the ones that ain't never been, you don't want to miss it. Saturday Night Jam Fest, we get it in. We hang out. We have a good time. We talk a little crap. We listen to music. Just come. Come on, huh? Come on. Any last words before we get up out of here? That makes sense and that, that's real? Yes. Yes. Everything is real? Yes. Okay. Can I get a kiss? Yes, you can. You next time I get the white stuff off. <laughs> get up. Kiss me.
Push the button, because I don't feel like getting up. Now, see, now he got to act the fool. <laughs>